Hi, my name is Carl from the Suffolk Latch Company and welcome to another how-to video. This week we're going to be covering how to prepare a raw oak legend brace door ready for installation um, and we're going to be using a Danish oil. Um, there will be a whole series of videos um, covered in this, this, this list, um, little uh, clip. It's going to be about uh, choosing the right door, it's going to be about using the right arm mongery, how to prepare the arm mongery, how to size and fit hinges, how to fit a Suffolk Latch and so by the end of this these series of videos you should be fully happy with how it all goes. Now we've got the door unwrapped, it's a good chance I have to look for any damage or any problems at the door. Um, like I say, it's a pretty cheap door here, it's not about the um, about the door, it's more about the installation and preparation. Uh, first thing I'm noticing straight away are these pin holes here which have been pinned together. It's not great, um, ideally that they'll be screwed and plugged, but this is what we're dealing with. Um, at this stage here you can get some fairly light filler or stopper and get them filled in, I shan't do that. Um, a little bit to look out for. On the front of the store in particular, but also here, there's a small area here, what we call sapwood. That's the, that's the, in fact, the live wood when the tree was cut down. If you're going to be staining a door up, particularly with dark stains, sapwood will, will draw in very heavily. So be very careful when you're choosing your stains and when you're actually searching your doors. Um, other things around here, we've got some, some sort of broken live knots and a sort of dead knot here. They're all right, so once they're polished, it's part of the character of oak. Um, to go for flawless oak, you perhaps have to go to Europe and to sorry American oak, which is a very clean, slightly reddish in colour, um, but can look a little bit sterile. Personally, I quite like these live lots and dead knots. Okay, the first things first, it's out the back here. We need to make, make this thing safe. And when this is a, a process or machine, you get really, really dead sharp sort of 90 degree edges on there. So I'll start off with a with a sanding block, run around the whole thing, and make sure we just take the edge off very slightly. Otherwise, you'll be cutting your hands on it. Um, Another thing to, to bear in mind, as if you don't know, when you're sanding um, oak, is to make sure you go with the grain, not against it. So right now I'm going to go through and get this thing sanded out. So the door's now at the packaging, it's been inspected, I've gone around and sanded all the edges so that they're now softer, less shot actually damaging yourself. Um, I've, I've found any problems on there, I've sanded out the worst of stuff on there. And the final stage now prior to the oiling is to give it a good clean. This clean gets rid of the dust, it's, I just got a, a straightforward very cheap white spirit here. I'm going to go around the entire door, give it a good rub down, then remove the excess tannin out of the wood, it'll get rid of the last of the dirty marks and, and leave it with a great base to get the rest of the job done. Okay, the doors have been cleaned, sanded, and uh, given a, a bit of a white spirit coating. You'll see from the cloth here, all this <clears throat> dark coloration coming through here is actually the uh, tannins in the oak coming out. So, that, so I now know we've got a great base to work with. I'm going to be using Lebron's clear um, Danish oil here. Um, now something which is vitally important, I had 17 years in a fire, so if it sits on here, the rags can catch fire. And bizarrely, yes they do catch fire. I went to a fire many years ago, um, a beautiful extension on, on an old barn, it was a pan tile roof, it was uh, glass apex and sides, wonderful. The couple had spent the whole day oiling all the internal beams, great job. Then put the rags into a bin, into the garage, and hay press of the garage caught fire. So what's really important, any rags you do use, once you finish them, leave them outside, unfolded, and so they thoroughly dry out. And the best thing is you've got an old paint tin, put it into the paint tin, bit of water, seal it down, and then dispose of it. This stuff will catch fire if you leave it in a big pile, and that's a guarantee. So without further ado, next job to do. So we're now about to apply the very first coat of uh, Danish oil onto this particular product here. Obviously the first coat is raw wood, it's going to soak right in. So the idea is we're going to put it on, we're going to pour it on there, we're going to brush it in, we're going to go a little bit all the way around the whole job, make sure it's getting there thoroughly, we're going to remove the excess, turn it over, do, do the other side, give it 20 minutes and do a second coat. But um, 
after that we're going to be going into using very fine sandpapers, we're going to be going into applying thinner and thinner layers and you'll see as time goes on how this tool will gradually improve. Now the first gets been applied with a brush, it's like we say, we, we put plenty on there, we brushed it in nice and hard, got it in there, and you'll notice almost immediately it's been sucked in by the wood. But into with oak, oak is it's primarily made up for two grains, there's a hard grain and a soft grain, and that's sort of like more like the, the winter summer season. Um, the important bit is we've done the first part now, we've soaked it in there, it's a base coat um, from where we'll build everything up, up from. But the important thing now is I can see around some of the hard grains here, it's still a bit wet. We don't want to leave an excess on there. So I've done one side, I have this completely covered. I'm going to get a bit of kitchen towel here, remember to dispose of it properly, go over it, dry it all off, turn it over and do the other side. Apply one cut now to both sides of the door. It's thoroughly soaked in. It'll dry almost immediately the first coat. From now on, we're going to apply all our coats with a little bit of rag. No more brushing on. So it'll be very, very thin layers. Um, the next layer will go on. which put both sides as thin as you can possibly go. We're going to take it out, put it to one side, stand it up to get air to both sides, and we're going to leave it overnight. And tomorrow we'll come in and we'll go in with some very, very fine uh, wet and dry. Just cut for that, for those, that first layer, and then we'll spend probably the entire day, every sort of two to three hours, applying another thin coat. And you'll see as the day goes by, the door will deepen in color and become richer and far more sealed. So as it is right now, it's fairly flat. So we'll give it one more coat through um, and then we'll leave it for a night, come back tomorrow and start all over again. That's the second coat applied. Um, straight away you can feel it's, it's using a fraction of the oil just to get it in there. That first coat is soaked in, but a little bit of a barrier between the between the timber and uh, the varnish. Second coat's got an absolute dream. I'm gonna leave it now, overnight to dry off. Tomorrow we'll be coming in um, first thing, and we'll be work, working this with a third coat. We're gonna be using some 600 grit emery cloth, just to make a bit of a slurry, just to cut the surface back slightly. It'll, it'll knock back into the fire, which is coming through the timber, which gives a great base for the last few coats. I'm, I'm reckoning here probably about five coats of the tears would make a, a perfect job. Now, just about to wrap up here, um, really important, go in a workshop, make sure you've got all your rags into that bin. That's really important. And make sure you get that safe. Get it outside, get it dried, get in some water, get it away. It's not worth the risk. So guys, see you tomorrow morning and we'll go for the, for the, uh, the final stage. Thank you. It's now been 24 hours since the last very thin coat was applied. We've got to a total of seven coats now. I'm very pleased it's well covered. Um, but there's one slight problem. Uh, there's one more process to go through. It feels a little, how can I say, jammy. It's a little bit just slightly raised and a little bit too shiny. So the next process is going to be using a bit of household furniture polish and some 600 MD cloth and go with a very, very light sanding. And I mean very light. So anything too hard will start cutting through the corners into the original timber. So once we've got that done, we'll be good to hang. been knocked back with a 600 grit so emery cloth. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's very, very slightly less shiny, but it is completely silky smooth. So we're now good, I'm happy, it's protected. We can now install this door um, without fear of actually getting it marked up on the wood. Thank you.